How's everybody doing? Today's video is going to be a review and demonstration of the Hawk Picks Rabia Massad Signature Guitar Pick. Now if you watch my last video, you will know that I'm a pretty big fan of Rabia Massad, and I have a lot of respect for his opinions on guitars, amps, and gear. So when this pick came out a little while back, I was pretty eager to get one and try it. First I'm going to talk about the size of this pick. It's 1.4 millimeters thick, which is, for most players, that's pretty thick, but if you're into like real heavy drop tuning stuff, that's probably pretty nimble to you. For me personally, it's probably the thickest I'll go. This pick is roughly the same size as a Dunlop Jazz 3XL, and it's a very similar shape. It's not quite the same, but it's close. The Rabia Massad signature pick is made of a synthetic material. It has a slightly rubbery feel to it, but it's not super grippy. So on one side of this pick, you have etched in where you can feel there is a relief. It's the Rabia Massad logo, so it says Bia, and it has the picture of his face with the afro. And on the other side of the pick, it has the Hawk Picks logo, and it has these six kind of deeper little dots that are supposed to help you with grip. And to be completely honest, having it where you have more grip on one side than the other of this pick is a little annoying to me, because it means that you have to be aware of which side of the pick you have your thumb on. And I might as well say now that the only downside as far as functionality of this pick goes to me is the lack of grip overall. Especially when you consider the type of heavy string gauges and the type of heavy style of playing that this pick is meant for. And when you get into playing it a lot and you start sweating, um, if your hands are dry, this pick is perfectly grippy and it's one of the grippiest materials um, for a dry hand. But as soon as you start sweating, I've noticed that this pick can get a little bit hard to hold on to, especially if you're playing real heavy and like real hard and just slamming it through. So that's the one functional drawback that I've noticed with this pick. But otherwise, this is one of the best sounding picks that I've ever played. <laughs> And as long as your hands are pretty dry, it's very comfortable to hold. It has a pretty sharp tip. I've actually played this one for quite a while, and you can see that the tip has not worn out very much, which is pretty impressive. And really, I think you would hope to get a really good life of use out of this pick because of the price of it. The price of this pick, to me, is the biggest drawback. So at the time when I bought this, which was as soon as they were really available in the United States, um, I'm not sure exactly what they are now, but when I bought this pick, it was, I think, $18 for one pick. Now, to me, when you consider the nature of a guitar pick, 
Um, that seems like kind of a lot because I know what I like to do is I've got about 10 guitar cases that I always need to have a spare pack of strings and a couple of spare picks and as well as the picks that you're going to use on a regular basis you like to have a few of them so at the point of like you could buy a pack of something similar where you might get 24 picks for ten dollars or you could get eighteen dollars for each pick and you would be spending realistically you'd be spending hundreds of dollars to have enough of these picks just sitting around or you could have one or two of the Rabia Masad signature picks and just keep very close track of them this is honestly the only one that I've bought and I've had it for close to a year if not a year whenever they came out uh, I think it was last year that they came out and I use it I use it a lot for a couple of weeks when I first got it and I still use it occasionally just for the sake of comparison and it's a really good pick. It's one of the best picks that I've ever played. It's It feels pretty good. Um, it sounds really crisp. It, it has a really nice uh, bite to the string and, and a really nice release. And there's a lot that I like about this pick. And I just wish they weren't so expensive. Because for as much as I'm biased, um, admittedly being a huge fan of Rabia Massad, and I like the amps that he's worked with Victory to make, and I like his signature guitars, I think they're really nice. I mean, the guy knows what he's doing. He knows how to spec out a guitar, he knows how to spec out an amp, he knows how to spec out a pick, for sure. It's a super nice pick, and if you have the money to spend $18 for a single guitar pick, then by all means go out and buy it, because I highly recommend this pick. But for me, it's a bit much. I'll usually buy something to try it out, which is what I've done with this pick. And like I said, I love it. It sounds great, as you can hear in the demonstrations. Probably the only reason why this is not my daily driver pick is just the price. I probably go through about 20 picks a year that are lower quality than the Rabia Masad pick. So even if you cut that in a fourth and said you're only going to go through five a year, um, it still would be spending way more money than I'd like to spend on picks per year. But like I said, if you can afford that, then definitely I recommend trying out this pick. And even if you're like me and you're just willing to try a nice handmade pick every once in a while, um, still go out and get one. I mean, it's a great pick. It's definitely worth playing. But actually, this pick, when I first got it, was a pretty radical change for me as far as the thickness of it and as far as the shape and the pointed tip of it. And it led me to discovering the pick that I now use daily. So I'm going to talk about that one in my next video. And if you like this video, please share it and subscribe to my channel for more guitar and music related content. Thank you.